Hey guys, how's it going? It is me, Josh Halter, the Bio Dude. Um, today I am going to be talking about uh, white tree frogs and how to set up the Terraflora Bioactive Kit that I sell specifically for them. You can visit me on my Facebook, of course the YouTube channel, and my website www.thebiodude.com. So for starters, I'm doing a standard 10 gallon tank um, a 10 gallon tank will work great for a young white tree frog, but for an adult, I would at least recommend a 20 high. Um, and then for every additional frog thereafter, I would add five and a half gallons um, to 10 gallons, depending on how big you want it to go. They do come from Australia and Indonesia, and what makes them interesting as pets is they come in different colors. They come in green, and they come in blue, and they come in blue with white dots, and uh, brown with white dots and blue eyes and uh, gold every color it's it's crazy so the, so what what I'm gonna start off with is being that they like to have a little bit of humidity throughout the day but a little bit more airflow um, we do use the drainage layer in the in the kit so in the kit it comes with your substrate your drainage layer your screen your biodegradables your plants your cork and your light and your cleanup crew and I'll go over each with you guys so that way you know how to do it. So the very first layer is the drainage layer. And that's, and that's what I call the, the dude's hydro grow. And what this stuff does, it, it basically catches all of the extra water that is flowing through the terra flora and basically prevents it from be, having your soil become waterclogged, which causes really bad bacterial growth, which can cause uh, secondary skin and fungal infections with your frogs. So, to, so to, to, for the very first step, all, you, all we do is just go ahead and dump the, the hydro grow in the bottom. Once we dump it in the bottom, we're gonna wanna evenly distribute it, so that way we can see everything, um, so it's nice and even. It's recommended for dumpies to have at least a half of an inch to an inch layer. Um, that's, uh, so that way you really aren't going to have issues with the water level going past your drainage layer. If for some reason the water level would go past your drainage layer, it will need to be drained. The next step is taking uh, the vivarium screen divider, which you can see right here, and you just simply place it right on top of the hydro grow. Now this is really important um, in most cases. If your animal does not burrow or have a tendency to get into the soil, it is not necessarily needed for the screen divider because the hydro grow, what makes it uh, really great as a drainage layer is that it creates an even surface on the top and it's almost weightless. Whereas your Vika or your larger grow stones create a wavy difference, which is where your, sub, which is where your substrate divider is needed. It prevents the substrate from falling into all the cracks. Being how the, how the hydro grow is designed, it's not something we really have to worry about. The next step is adding our terraflora. As you can see here, the terraflora is my handcrafted substrate that I created for really, really humid and semi-humid climates. It is typically used for your tree frogs, as well as some of your salamanders and things like that. Now, I did already wet this, um, which, which is why you can see it's pretty wet in the bag. Typically, I would put it into a bucket so that way it's wet but not dripping. And so you just go and dump the substrate, <coughs> excuse me, right into the bottom. Now, the flora is designed to stay wet, but retain the perfect amount of water for your plants and your springtails and isopods while generating the, the, the pockets needed for proper soil and root, de oh, excuse me, for proper root development in your plants. Um, as well as it doesn't hold the excess water. So like I said before, it holds the perfect amount of moisture and any extra moisture it doesn't need, it just shoots right down into the drainage layer. So uh, I, from there, I always give the soil just a, a light mist on the top. Okay, so we have, as you can see, we have our drainage layer, our substrate divider, and the terra flora, okay? Now the, the next step is I have a bowl of water right here. I'm gonna take the, the New Zealand sphagnum moss, which is the biodegradable. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a light layer of this right on the top. But first I'm going to wet 
the sphagnum moss a little bit. The sphagnum moss will eventually break down and provide organic nutrition for your soil, but it also helps with a uh, coarse water retention and it, uh, 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 your, your plants will appreciate it as well, as well as the microfauna and cleanup crew. So we then take the moss and spread it around him. Pretty simple, nice and straightforward. You don't need a deep, dense layer of the moss. Just enough to barely cover the top, and if you see some dirt exposed on the top, that's good, because it's all gonna get shoveled around anyway, eventually, by all your cleanup crews. So, after we add in our sphagnum moss, I just do one light and this at the top. Next step, which really brings out the bioactivity and things, are your springtails and isopods. What these are, are commonly referred to as tank janitors. Your isopods are, um, are very old animals that have been around since the dinosaurs, as are the springtails. What they both do are break down decaying matter, such as feces, biodegradables, and, put, and turn it into organic nutrition for your substrate. Not only do they keep your substrate alive and healthy and clean up the poo for you, they also revitalize the soil by sifting through it, creating necessary air pockets that help with plant and root development. And they also have a large portion um, in your dryer setups of help maintaining the tunnels and burrows that your reptiles uh, make. So to get your springtails and isopods established, it's as simple as just dumping the culture into the, the tank. These creatures will then populate within the tank, create a sustainable population, and from there, um, build up your, your, your whole bioactivity. In a 10 gallon, it'll typically take one to two months to get an adequate population of bugs in your substrate when you're gonna start noticing the difference. So after we get our bugs in place, the next step that I like to do is figure out how I'm gonna make this tank look. So I got some cork bark here that is included with the kit. I love cork because it, it, it looks natural and it is a renewable, it is renewable. Um, it is, um, it, it, it's uh, sustainable, excuse me, uh, which is really, really good. So I'm actually gonna break it. There we go. And I'm gonna put this plant right here. Now these plants have already been dis disinfected um, how I disinfect my plants is I rinse them off with a little bit of water uh, just to make sure all the chlorines and things like that are off. And I use distilled or RO water. And I'm going to take this plant here. I'm going to put that right in the middle. Now I'm going to take, I really like this plant. I hope it does, grows really well in here. The dumpies like it. I'm going to put this guy right here in the corner. Okay. So, from there, I'm going to take a look at how I really want my tank to look. And I think having something like this. Oh, yeah. I like that. It's simple. Okay. From there, I give it a nice mist. The next step is, that wasn't supposed to happen. The next step is adding the biodegradables. Now biodegradables, think of them as the gas. So essentially what these do, what the biodegradables do, your um, essential bacteria and, fung and, and different fungi that will happen naturally in your vivarium. Regardless of what you do, as long as you keep some humidity in there, these beneficial agents will come up. Not only do they break down the, the, the leaves to create organic nutrition for your substrate, they, uh, they are also broken down and provide food to your springtails and isopods, which for your smaller um, frogs is great for dart frogs and things like that because it almost creates a small feeding station. So I'm going to continue to put the leaves right in here. Eventually, the leaves will need to be replaced as they will break down and uh, more new organic nutrition will eventually need to be added into the enclosure. All right. Now, as you can see here, system. We have a drainage layer right here. We got the, with the, the, the screen divider. We have the terraflora, and then we have our biodegradables with our cleanup crew established. 
Um, I'm going to be putting a small water dish here in the corner. And for dumpies, since they like to have pretty good ventilation, since the white street frogs that are being kept in here are young, their humidity needs to be a little bit higher. So I, I, I put a lid, I put some plastic right on top of a normal 10 gallon lid and that works great if you're on a budget and trying to create um, good, uh, hu uh, uh, raise the humidity in your vivarium. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and put on the lid. And then of course every BioDudes uh, animal kit comes with one of my premium LEDs, which emit the perfect spectrum for your live plants as well. I will also provide um, a small Reptisun 3. Point, excuse me, Reptisun 2.0 and a hot spot of 79 degrees, as the dumpies really do appreciate a mild hot spot. So and then it's as simple as plugging this, this in, flipping the switch. There we go. Nice and simple. That, that's the best thing about it. As far as maintenance goes, you'll have to set this tank up. You set the tank up once, and, and as long as you don't up, if you don't upgrade, you don't ever have to clean it or take it apart again. Uh, but, uh, uh, at some point, you'll have to clean the glass and add in new biodegradables, like I mentioned before, and occasionally you might have to spot clean. But as far as consistently having to replace the substrate and consistently having to take everything out and redo it, that is no more. Not with the BioDude setups because that is what it's all about is giving these guys the, the best care possible with the most natural of a setup, which is what they appreciate. So again, my name is Josh Halter. Um, I do sell captive born baby white tree frogs on my website, thebiodude.com. Feel free to check out all my other videos and be sure to like us on Facebook. Thank you very much.